through the deployer um, down, and we, we, we took the uh, descent profile and broke it up into six different segments, and that was a section, one of the six segments we showed. Okay, the next section here is terminal descent. Uh, the terminal descent phase is really the where uh, it gets um, really exciting because, like I said, we're a free flyer at that point. Um, what you're going to see is something that we call a, a, a water hammer test. The, the terminal descent system that Barry talked about uh, uses jets that turn themselves on and off. The 12 descent engines are, are pulsed on and off. And the analogy is if you're at the kitchen sink and you open the faucet up and you slam that faucet closed, you generally hear this bang in, in the plumbing. All right, that's water hammer. You've got fluid flowing, you slam the valve closed, and you get a concussion, if you will, and that generates pressure in the lines. All right, now, if we're diligent in doing our jobs as engineers, you want to make sure that the system can handle that, that shock wave going back and forth. So uh, for two reasons. One, the guidance sensors, um, the IMU um, that's giving us um, our attitude knowledge, and then the radar, you don't want it to be tricked or fooled by these vibrations. And the second thing is the, the lines themselves, the propulsion lines, you don't want those vibrations um, exciting a, a mode and uh, causing a structural failure within the prop system. So uh, this is a fairly dramatic video. This one was the water hammer portion of it. We, we started with this, characterized the system, and then we did full of hot fire testing. What we brought for you today was the water hammer. So let's go ahead and roll that. Okay, so if you're, if you're Marvin the Martian and you're sitting there on the planet and you hear this thing coming in, you're going, what the heck is happening? But actually, the atmosphere.